What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out some of the best add-ons in the blender market for under $20. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so note that a bunch of these are currently on sale through the uh, end of the day today. Um, so they're even cheaper than usual. I think most of these are gonna be under $20 no matter what, um, but you can check them out at the blender market. Um, and so let's go ahead and let's go through some of my top add-ons for under $20. So first off, we've got random flow. Um, random flow is a ton of fun because what it does is it allows you to procedurally generate hard surface details. So it's excellent for like uh, sci-fi modeling, other things like that. And so if you follow Blender Guppy on Twitter, he's got a ton of different examples of how he's using um, random flow. It's definitely worth following him just to kind of see what he's doing because he's doing a bunch of really cool stuff. And so if you're looking for hard surface modeling tools, you, you can either get Box Cutter, which is a tool for creating cuts inside of Blender, um, which is really great for hard surface modeling, or you can get Hard Ops, um, either one of those individually for $15. So Hard Ops is basically a tool set of different tools for doing hard surface modeling, doing things like cleanups, um, and all of those things that are associated with modeling with hard surfaces and keeping your geometry the way you want it to be. Now, if you're gonna learn one of these, it's probably worth just picking up the combo here, but the combo is more than $20. But um, if you are looking for either one of those tools individually, you can, you can get them for under $20. All right, so one of my favorite tools for generating crowds is called Procedural Crowds. It's from Diffuse Studio. This is a tool that's designed to make crowd simulation really easy from generating the crowd and populating it to creating animations with the crowd. Um, this is a great tool set for doing that. It's got different ways of scattering crowds inside of Blender, and you can get this for under $20. Note that those do also animate. So if you want to make groups of people that like walk around or something like that, you can get all of that in this tool for under $20. Um, so all of Diffuse Studios tools are currently on sale and you can get like procedural signs, which is a tool for generating signs inside a blender, as well as procedural alleys, which creates like roads with people with uh, buildings along it so it allows you to create like procedural buildings and other things like that so you can get most of their add-ons for um under 20 dollars right now i especially like procedural crowds just for the ease of use of creating groups of people and so we've also got Grid Modeler from Kashiro. So Grid Modeler is an interesting tool in the sense that basically what you do is you create these grids and then you draw on top of them in order to modify your model. So you can do like snapping to the grids, you can use it to create faces or do Boolean cuts, other things like that. So um, definitely kind of an interesting way of modeling inside of Blender. It's a little bit different than a lot of the tools that I've seen, um, but if you're looking for something that allows you to do these quick operations, you can check out grid modeler so you can also get a number of Antoine Bagatini's tools for under $20 as well so like for example you've got bag of batch you can actually download for free um, there's also a full version it's designed to help you like batch generate thumbnails when you're creating assets um, so it makes asset creation even better Bagapi the modifier itself is actually free so I recommend everyone should download Bagapi um, and then Baga Rain which is his rain generator is a tool specifically for simulating rain and wet surfaces in Blender um, you can actually get that for under 10 while the sale is going on um, but if you're looking for something to quickly generate that rain um, um, you can check out Rain Generator. So Fluid Painter is a tool that I absolutely love because it basically allows you to like draw fluids onto objects. So you don't have to mess around with a bunch of fluid simulation tools or anything like that. You just draw curves on your object. And then he's got a number of different fluid presets built in that you can use to generate everything from like ketchup to syrup um, to all sorts of different fluids. So if you're creating like slime on a model or something like that, um, or like dripping ice cream, this is a great tool for that. You don't don't need to do a bunch of technical stuff you just draw on your model and so while we're talking about things that simplify otherwise technically difficult tools I love cell fluids because it basically um, it does like a two and a half D fluid simulation so while in like a flip fluids you might have like a bunch of complex physics cell fluids 
basically just simulates these fluids in real time in the way that they interact. Um, so it's a really awesome tool for quickly generating fluids. So you can do things like creating a boat that runs along a surface, other things like that. And what it's doing is it's using the surfaces and it's kind of like sort of simulating the fluids, right? So it's not doing like a full physics simulation, but what it's doing instead is it's generating um, something that looks like a fluid that's going to interact with other objects, it's going to fall like other objects, and it does it really fast. So Alt-Tab Easy Fog 2 does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to quickly generate fog inside of your model. So it comes with a number of different presets that you can use in order to add fog inside of a bounds box um, in order to make things look foggy. There's a ton of fog presets built into this one and um, what it does is it allows you to adjust those but you can create them really quickly um, without having to go through and mess around with a bunch of settings or anything like that. You literally just kind of pick the preset that you want. And so um, this is an easy way to generate fog in your scenes and it is adjustable. And so if you want to generate cables, you've actually got a couple options. You've got Cablerator, um, which is the top add-on in the Blender market for creating cables. It's really good at creating cables from point to point, um, creating multiple different groups of cables, as well as adding like connectors and adding some geometry to your mesh. So you can use it in order to create cables that look more like these corrugated tubes or something like that. So you can use Cablerator, or there's also a tool called Curve Basher. Uh, Curve Basher um, comes with some tools that kind of like generate some different kinds of curves. So not only do you generate curves by clicking between points or generate like wires and things like that, it's also got some built-ins that you can toggle between. So you can see all of these different things that are in here for like multiple curves or um, it's got like uh, chains and other things like that. So um, and you can use this one in order to apply meshes to a curve as well to make it more detailed. So those are two great options for curve creation. <laughs> and so I don't even do character modeling, but I still feel like I need to mention Wrap Master. Um, just because Wrap Master is a really cool tool for generating things that wrap around surfaces. So it's basically got a couple presets that are built in here, and you can add like straps or ropes. Um, and I think the newest add-on also added a chain in here. But basically what it does is it allows you to kind of like position a mesh around an object, and then this will uh, kind of procedurally generate your wraps. And you can adjust things like the length of the wrap, the distortion if you want to make that a little bit more random as well as some other things about the way that the uh, the wrap works and that it fits along the surface so you can kind of see that bounding box here but this actually makes creating things that wrap around surfaces really easy and so I think most of Mark King's North's add-ons, if not all, are under $20. I think maybe everything but his plating generator um, is going to be under $20, but I've talked at length about Flowify, which is his new add-on for bending objects onto curved surfaces. So this is something he and I kind of talked about creating because I'd used a similar tool in SketchUp. This is actually probably a um, superior tool inside of Blender because it's live. But um, I love Flowify for wrapping things around quad objects. He's also got conform object, which is a tool that allows you to um, bend objects along other surfaces. So he's got a really cool lattice deformation tool in there. Um, and then he's got some other tools as well. So like perspective plotter, which is a great tool for creating models from images directly inside of Blender. So it's got tools designed to help you set up your perspectives. And then you can actually work directly inside of Blender modeling from photos. So so if you do like camera matching type models, things like that, this is a great tool for doing that within Blender. And then finally, we've got one click damage, which is a tool for um, generating damage uh, based on a singular click. And so what you do is you select your objects, you click on the generate damage button. And what that's going to do is that's going to add that damage and then you can go in there and you can adjust things like the pattern and the amount of damage other things like that um, and so this is a really great way to take your objects and make them look worn so that they look more realistic all right so that's where i'm in this video leave a comment below let me know if i left something out if there's something that you're using that you'd like to hear more about i just love having that conversation with you guys as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and i'll catch you in the next video thanks guys